Good, good morning, morning Alison. Alison. Good morning and welcome to Bubble M. M. Bubble M. And you know, it's it, it's exciting. It's always exciting, uh, but is it with a tinge of sadness because this is the last Good Morning Yatsen in this sequence yeah. and in this format. Hopefully, we do one next year. Yeah, exactly. And maybe in the new school year. You know, it's been a great blueprint, I think, for the way that um, we can do this in the future. Yeah. With the year six, you know, literally keeping that bar up there, which is fantastic. Um, so great, welcome guys, nice to see you, and um, and hopefully um, lots of interesting things um, in this episode. So, Chris, what have we got? Breaking news, Michael Rosen, the author of Chocolate Cake and We're Going on a Bear Hunt, has been diagnosed with COVID-19 and is now recovering at home. The author was admitted to intensive, intensive care about a month ago and has now only recently come out. Do you know what? Before you go on, I, I actually heard Michael Rosen on the radio and he's he's one of my all time heroes. And I absolutely love him when you when he reads the poetry. Have you seen yeah. you yeah. mentioned chocolate cake earlier, Archie? And it's so funny, isn't it? Yeah. And I heard him on the news and it was so sad. He, he, he sounded so poorly yeah. and it just showed me how. You know how really devastating COVID nineteen can be, but mm. uh, but he is on the mend, which is really yeah. good news. And also, he's getting loads of letters from his fans. Oh, I'm sure really he nice. is, because he's so popular. He's such a funny guy. But yeah, I think he also made one called um, Rabbit Foo Foo, I think. Possibly, don't know. <laughs> which done is loads. a really odd one. Which I can't. A, I yeah, think yeah. I remember but he's a funny one. guy. But yeah, cool. Okay, Archie. Well, the Prime Minister's spokesman has announced that they have given up all attempts to provide a daily figure of the amount of people being tested for coronavirus. Mm. Well, I, I'm guessing that's probably quite hard, hard yeah. one to pin down. Um, obviously, if you think in each sort of county, there's going to be quite a few of them yeah. in the whole England. Hard to keep tabs on all of it. Uh, any other COVID news, Chris? Well, also, all shops can now open. Vitamin D has been suspected to prevent coronavirus. Less than 10 cases a day of coronavirus have now been detected in Somerset. And an update for Scotland. A total figure of patients that have... of 2,488 patients have died from coronavirus. Okay, still, still amongst us, and we've still got to be yeah. really, got to be really sensible, really, and, and keep that social distancing, haven't, haven't we? You know, it's yeah. so important. Yeah. No, okay. also, um, if for anybody who's interested in the Black Lives Matter, on on Saturday, July the fourth, Black Lives Matter called us all to march and rally for lots of black women who have been mistreated or haven't been fairly announced or of brilliant ideas and things that have just come on to be famous which i think is really shocking yeah yeah no it's true actually that there's a kind of hidden history isn't there mm. um of, of people who have had in, in, incredible achievements um mm. and, and they're just uh, they're not famous and they've just sort of gone under the radar yeah. which mm. is incredible and so yeah, yeah absolutely we, we absolutely need to kind of look back at our history and actually celebrate the achievements of black men and women mm -hmm. uh, that are part of our, our history, yeah. Yeah, yeah well, good. there's one thing. Um, a statue for a famous black footballer has been put up because he was one of the first black people to be yeah. put into the England team, Yeah. but wasn't allowed to go in there because he was black, which... Obviously, that's now it's obviously changed scandalous, yeah. isn't it? Scandalous, but 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 great again that that his achievements have yeah. been recognised. Yeah. yeah, great. And then also we've got um, a weird, a very weird thing for Black Lives Matter. Donald Trump attributed a quote to a Black Lives Matter leader who had no relation at all to Black Lives Matter or anything to do with it, which is really weird. I think maybe he's trying to get inside by just trying to make somebody a leader. Yeah. Fishy. Yeah, it's, um, it's some interesting views, isn't it, Donald yeah. Trump? Interesting views. But good. So, um, okay, so what's what's coming up next, boys? Well, well um, is James with the Gaming yeah. News? Yeah, now over to James with the Gaming News. Oh, okay, great. Thanks, Chris and Archie. As many of you may know, I like to play video games, so here are some of the available updates for the game Minecraft. 
Welcome to Games with James. Today I'll be talking about the updates for the game Minecraft. Many of y'all may have heard about the new 1.16 Minecraft update, but here's some info for the people who haven't. The new mobs are the Pigling, the Hoggling, the Zoggling, and the Strider. Some of the new blocks are the Crying Obsidian that can be made into respawn anchors, new nether-related vegetation such as Crimson and Warped Nilium, and Crimson Trees. If you didn't already know, diamonds are no longer the best material for tools and armour because netherite is a new material and is one attack damage and stronger than diamond. Thank you for listening. Uh, well, that was interesting. James, although I don't entirely understand it, um, could you just like explain a little bit about Minecraft and how it works? Sure. So basically, there's uh, two different things. Um, basically, there is survival, there's creative. Creative, you can fly around, get blocks that you want from search bar or from the blocks and stuff. Is that an un do you have an unlimited yeah, amount? Yeah, basically. Okay. And do you have to design your own like island or are you uh, given the You are areas? given an island and a seed or you can put in a seed. Okay. All right. And what's the other mode? Survival mode? Uh, yeah, so. survival. Basically, it's where you like need to survive from like creepers and stuff and you have to basically break, bleh, break the blocks and um, get like ores, stone, and just try and, at the end of the day, just try and kill the them and the dragon, and then that's basically the end of the game. Okay, interesting. Well, uh, and it's, I know it's an incredibly creative thing because um, you, you it's all about processes and you have to start off with something yeah. and then you, you get something from that and something like that, so to develop, isn't it? But yeah, uh, yeah a lot of, um, and a lot of people really enjoy it, don't they? So yeah, brilliant and great advice. Okay, so um, who's up next then, James? Uh, we're going to go on to Claudia and uh, Isla. Thanks, James. That was interesting. Do you like smoothies? Because we do. And we made a short video of how to make smoothies at home. Claudia and Isla. And today we're going to be showing you some smoothies to make at home. So we're going to be making two different types of smoothies today. They are a raspberry mango smoothie and a pineapple smoothie. We're making the raspberry mango smoothie first. So what you'll need is a cup and a blender, one and a half cups of frozen raspberries, one and a half cups of cubed fresh peeled or frozen mango, one and a half cups of orange juice, two tablespoons of honey and one cup of Greek yogurt or milk. Now blend until it's smooth. Now ready to blend. Pour it into your glass and enjoy. To be making a pineapple smoothie. So, what you need for the smoothie is a cup and a blender, one and a half cups of frozen pineapple chunks, one and a half cups of pineapple juice, three quarters of a cup of Greek yogurt, and one banana. Cut in half. science experiments. Thank you Claudia and Ida. Those smoothies look really tasty. We've been doing some science experiments. We made a short clip for you guys to watch. Hi, we are Bella, Anya and Amelia and today we are doing SSE which stands for Super Science Experiment. We are doing three different types of experiments that we hope you would do at home. Let's get, get started. started. This experiment is bringing a jar. You might think just get a jar when it's bad weather a rain. But no, it teaches kids about life cycle. What you'll need for this experiment is a glass jar, some hot water, four cubes of ice, and optional is food dye. 
first you need a glass jar. Then you pour some drops of food dye in, which is already in there. Then we will pour hot water. It has to be hot, otherwise it won't steam up. Because we've already done it, it might just be blue. Yes. Then we're going to quickly close the lid. I'll be careful, my inner adult, because it's really hot. Then we're going to pour some ice. Okay, now put them on the lid. Try and put them on the lid. The hot air from inside is um, I think you need a plate. making the top part of it really hot and then you've got the ice on top which is melting because of the heat so it makes it rain. Welcome to our second experiment. This one is tornado in a bottle. So let's get started. You will need glitter, bottle of water and some clary liquid. First you want to pour one bit of glitter in each. So I'm gonna put in the purple one. Then I'm just gonna, gonna add, add in the blue, but only put a little bit if you want more, depending on how many colours you're putting in. in and then quickly put the cap on. We'll have to try. It will go really high. I tried it before and it's been cool. So Amelia is going to add the Mentos. Let's do... So here we go. How many Mentos do you need then? You can add as many as you want. Wanted it to. 
But if it did, it wouldn't be a real science experiment. Next up is Lucas and Finney's Frisbee Tips and Tricks. Thanks guys for that science experiment. It was great. Especially the Coke and Mentos. Do you like Frisbee? Because we, we do. do. Now over to us doing a short clip of Frisbee Tips and Tricks. Everybody, today we're going to be doing some Frisbee Tips and Tricks. Welcome back. We're going to be showing you how to catch a Frisbee and some other tips. The claws. <coughs> the sandwich. A normal Frisbee. You throw it like this. That was great, wasn't it? Yeah, it was so fun. Now over to Ben, who's making a stingray out of paper. Thanks, Lucas and Finley. Now I have a short clip on how to make a paper stingray. So today I will be making a paper stingray. You will need a pencil, a rubber, a glue stick, some scissors and a ruler. So grab your piece of paper and fold it so you end up with a shape like this. Then grab your scissors and cut down like that. Now, and after you have done that, grab your pencil and ruler and draw a straight line. Like that, then grab your scissors and um, cut down to your line. After you've done that, open it up, grab one strip and your glue and glue the bottom of it. This can be a bit thinly. Do that on the other side. you've done that, you can grab your scissors again and cut from the tip all the way to the lip. Next up we have Anya and Claudia with the birthdays. So, um, thank you to Ben. I shall definitely be making my own paper stingray. 
I'm sure you will too, Claudia, won't you? Yes. Good. Right. Now we've got the birthdays, but it's a bit, it's a bit different uh, because we've got absolutely tons, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. We've got absolutely tons because this is the last Good Morning Yatton for the summer term. So we've got everybody's birthday between now and September, the start of the new term. So you've got to be ready. You ready, girls? You yes. ready? Big voice. Yeah. All right. So over in the infants, who is going to have a birthday, Anya? Is Kai from class six, Ruben from class three, Isaac from class two, Samuel from class three, Eva from class eight, Amelia from class three, Isabel from class seven, Samuel from class nine, Elias from class nine, Majid from class eight, Harry from class four, Jun from class eight, um, Ella from class five, Isabella from class six, Emily from class six, Sebastian from class five, Adam from class nine, Finney from class seven, Lennox from class nine, Ella from class nine, Alfie from class four, Alfie from class five, Harriet from class three, Nia from class nine, Elsie from class five, and Fraser from class four. four. And <laughs> the last one, Anya, is on the oh, second yes. page. <laughs> <laughs> and Henry from class nine. Oh, brilliant. And we really, really hope that you guys and the infants have, have a, a happy fantastic birthday. birthday. And uh, what's, what's great is your birthdays and the holidays, which is always good, isn't it? You've waited all year for it, but it's worth it because you're on holiday. Yeah. Right, okay, you ready for the, the monster that is the juniors? Ready? Yeah. Go. We have Alex from class 11, Isabella from class 4, Bella from class 12, Seb from class 11, Hayden from class 3, Julian from class 8, Ted from class 6, Sophie from class 10, Sam from se class 7, Alfie from class 9, Hayley from class 7, Sophia from class 10, Joe from class 10, Joseph from class 5, Rosie, Josie <laughs> from class 6, Felix from class 8, Diego from class 4, Lily from class 1, Cody from class 6, Lianca from class 2, Ethan from, from class 7, Samuel from class 8, Amelia from class 12, Daisy from class 8, Esme from class 9, Riley from class 5, Evie from class 10, Kobe from class 9, Georgia from class 9, Megan from class 8, Dante from class 10, Harry from class 2, Tasha from class 10, Phoebe from class 4, Freya from class 9, Ruby from class 11, Jake from class 9, Caitlin from class 3, and Elijah from class 1. Wow, what a marathon. Uh, well, that was <laughs> that was amazing. So many people have got birthdays in August, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> but it's great. And again, um, massive happy birthday to those guys. Um, and we hope you have a great day. Hope the weather's fine for you. And it's not chucking it down, because that's always a bit sad. Yeah. Brilliant. Whew, well done. What a massive birthday. That's the biggest birthday reader I think we've had. <laughs> um, okay, so now, next up, we've got Sam and Archie, who are going to be telling us all about cartoon drawing, I believe. Thank you, Annie and Claudia. I wish everybody on that list has a happy birthday. But it's going to be hard for everyone, because there was quite a lot of people. Yeah. I mean, the juniors was like tsunami wave, boof. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to draw a cartoon character? You know, I certainly have. Well, this is your lucky day. Me and Archie have made a step-by-step -step guide to help you. Let's get to it. Hey guys, and today, me and Samuel will be trying to make a comic book character. Let's go. First, you need to get a sharp pencil, a rubber, and some colours. Once you've got all that, draw a head shape. It needs to be an, looking like an upside down egg.
If you want to, you can put it at an angle to make it look like he's tilting his head. Once you've done that, draw two faint lines. One from the middle of the chin to the middle of the head at the top. Then, draw a horizontal line, slightly curved, about one third up from the chin. Now, we're going to draw the eyes. So, on the horizontal line, draw a small dot, one centimetre out from where the two lines are. Draw another dot 2.5 centimetres away from the other dot on each side. Draw a line from one dot to the other. Then draw a curved line from one dot to the other, preferably the same size, so they look like equal eyes. Now, for a smaller semicircle in each eye as the pupil colour. Colour the pupil in after you've done this. <coughs> now, draw a dot one centimetre down from where the lines cross. Now, Draw a lightning bolt that looks like Harry Potter's scar for the nose. Then leave a small gap and draw a curved line. That's the nose and the mouth done. Then, on the left side, draw a curved line that joins back into the head. Now, draw the neck. It's pretty much like a normal leg. Neck, but it comes out the side of the head. There we go. Now, all that's left to do is to colour it in and give it some hair. And there we go guys, that is the cartoon drawing. This is what it should look like finished. Obviously we added a cool little top. And yeah, there we go. That is our cartoon character. Bye. Well, thank you to Sam and Archie. That was very, um, very informative and, and very well um, uh, drawn, very well drawn. And I shall certainly be having a go at drawing a cartoon character, which is brilliant. Um, and that pretty much wraps it up, boys. We've been... Last um, episode completed. I know. This is episode 21, um, finished. The last one in this format. And um, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everyone who has watched, everyone who has contributed, sent stuff in, um, and it's been it's been great. I've I've thoroughly enjoyed yeah. it, um, and it's been it's been lovely to see the year six coming in and taking over and putting their spin on it. Yeah, it's you know, been that's very been enjoyable experience as well. Yeah, good. And do you know what? Um, there are, there are some people actually that have um, apparently watched every episode. Every episode. I know. Scary, all all twenty one. Yeah. Um, can you imagine that? Twenty one episodes. <laughs> oh, imagine the hours of your life like that we've gone. Hours <laughs> yeah, at least. Anyway, boys, thank you very much for your contribution and to the whole of Bubble M, which is great. And uh, it just remains for us to say goodbye for the last time. So, goodbye, Atom. Goodbye, Atom. Goodbye, Atom. Good morning, Atom. Did you, did you join in there? <laughs> no.
That always happens. I I'm thought a, you wasn't filming. I'm always, la I'm always left uh, like a Larry <laughs> doing it on my own. <laughs> Thank you, Chris and Archie. Oh, and I've forgotten the words, but now I remember them. It's alright. As many, as many of you. Thank, Thank you, James. <laughs> No, because you say the next No, but I've got a lisp on it. It sounds weird. <laughs> no, it's fine. <laughs> James. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Claudia and Isla. They look really tasty. I forgot my line. So we've been doing some stuff. That's why we're having a talk through. Well, I know I certainly have. <laughs> yeah, great, Archie. It's great. That's it. But it's exactly what I would do, isn't it? I go, well, I certainly have, Sam.